What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be doing chapter 22, problem 56 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook by Drill Walker, Halliday, and Resnick, 8th edition. And chapter 22 is all about electric fields. And in problem 56, um, it talks about a, an electric dipole that has um, two charges, uh, one of them two electron or positive two electron and negative two electron and the distance we're given the distance between them and we're told the electric field strength and we're asked to find the magnitude of the torque um, on the dipole when it is parallel perpendicular and anti-parallel to the electric field so we'll do the first situation which is parallel to and we know that um, torque um, is equal to dipole moment dipole moment times electric field times the sine of the angle between the dipole moment and the electric field and we actually and so dipole moment is actually defined as a uh, charge charge over a certain distance so we can say charge times distance times electric field times the sine of theta and for situation one um, we have parallel to the electric field so our angle theta is going to be zero and the sine of zero is actually zero so that means the torque is going to be zero now for part two um, Again, with this equation, torque equals Q times distance times E. This time we're going to have the sine of 90 degrees, which is equal to 1. So, um, and our Q is 2E, so 2 times our E, which is 1.6, times 10 to the negative 19, times our distance, which is 0.78, times 10 to the negative 9, times our electric field, which is 3.4 times 10 to the sixth, and then times the sine of 90, which is just one. So when you put all that into your calculator, you should get 8.5 times 10 to the negative 22 Newton meters. And then for our last, our last situation, it wants the anti-parallel, so facing the opposite direction of the electric field. And so that's going to be times the sine of 180 degrees, which is um, which the sine of 180 is also zero. So that means the torque is going to be zero. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.